This thing is disgusting. Please don't attach to my finger. Hey guys, we're going across the street here. If you didn't know already, I live right across the street from the bay where you see all the shrimps. We're gonna come down here and we're gonna save as many shrimp as we can, so let's get started. I've got my slurper and a little container for the shrimp and we're gonna go remove those pesky parasites. Our container um, ended up breaking a little bit, but it's still functional as long as the shrimp don't try and crawl out of the hole. And we also um, got our slurper here, does the job. So next we're gonna go out here into the mud and try and find some shrimpies. Before we continue, make sure that you're subscribed to the channel so you don't miss any satisfying ocean videos. And welcome to the Shrimp Squad. Fun fact, these shrimps are really weird. You can see right here the mud looks the same as the mud right here. But the mud right here has the Eupogebia mud shrimp, and the mud right here has the Neotripea sand shrimp. I have no idea why they live next door to each other, but they live in like little communities. Sand shrimp, mud shrimp. But we're not looking for the sand shrimps today, we're looking for the mud shrimps, because the mud shrimps are the ones who most oftentimes have the parasite. The sand shrimps get them sometimes, but not nearly as often as the mud shrimp. All right, we've made it to our spot. I've got my slurper. The sea chickens are out today. They are waiting for the shrimps, but we're not gonna let them get the shrimps today. They can have a parasite if they're lucky. Franklin, Frank, hey Franklin, come say hi to my friends. That's Franklin. He's a sea chicken. He wants to eat the shrimp that I rescue, but I'm not gonna let him. That's why I stay with the shrimp until they go back down in the hole. But they can have the parasites. The parasites don't affect the birds. When the birds eat the parasites, their digestive system kills it right away. Plus, when they do eat shrimps, they eat shrimps with parasites all the time. So giving the sea chickens the parasites is a good revenge for an invasive species. So let's go find some shrimps and parasites. This one doesn't have a parasite, but it does have eggs on it. See if we can get an up close look at those eggs here. So the female shrimp, when they have eggs, they hold the eggs down here on their tail. The eggs just kind of latch on and the mother will carry them until they hatch. So we're gonna go put this mommy back so that she can go lay her eggs. Sometimes I can find a shrimp very, very quickly. Other times, it takes hours of slurping before I find a bucket full of shrimp to help. Today was no exception. Finally got one. That took a lot longer than I thought it would, but let's go get her in the bucket. You can see the parasite is so large that it's bulging out of the gill flap of this shrimp. This one's gonna be a lot of fun to help. Big shrimp, and it has a bulging parasite. Let's go put it in the container. All right, we've got three so far. Let's go see how many more we can get. We've got two more future happy shrimp. So I've been slurping for about an hour now and I've managed to find quite a few shrimp. Some of them are really big <laughs> and their parasites are crazy. So let's take a look. Okay, so here are the shrimp that I was able to find. Quite a few of them. I think we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven total. I had to put this little oyster shell here because they were trying to crawl out the hole. <laughs> so let's get started. Let's uh, start saving these little shrimpies. 
Before we get started, if any of you guys have any questions about the shrimp or the parasites, make sure to check for some information in the description and also watch these videos up here. They can help answer those questions and you get to see more parasite removals. You guys have to see this. Look at, this one just got the parasite removed. This one just got the parasite removed and this one came. These ones are coming to Lynn's support. This is the cutest thing I ever saw in my whole shrimp career. They're all coming to give him support. They're saying, are you okay? Are you okay? They're all just like hanging out right now, checking up on each other. This is great. I don't know if shrimp actually like check up on each other, but that's what it looks like. And that could possibly be the cutest thing I've ever seen in my whole shrimp career. All right, now that we've gotten all of the parasites removed from the shrimp, I put them on this little platter here. I'm gonna try to feed them to the birds, but if the birds don't eat them, we'll just put them in the compost. But for now, let's set these little shrimpy babies free. Go ahead and go home. Create some eggs. Save your species. Man, this is just a huge mess of parasites. I left it out in the sand, but no birds tried to eat it. 
to the compost they go. Thank you all so much for watching another shrimp parasite removal. These videos are pretty tough to make, so if this video gets 10,000 likes, I'll make another one. So go ahead and smash that like button and be sure to follow if you love ocean animals.